Flicky is an AI tool that can turn your script into video, generate AI photos for you, and create any video you want by simply giving it a prompt. It's one of the few tools with the most sounding realistic voiceovers in the market, and in this video I'll show you some of its features and proven ways you can make money from them, so let's get started. You can sign up to Flicky by clicking the first link in the description below which will bring you to this page where you can register for free. And the first feature we'll explore is called Idea to Video. This will help you to create videos fast, especially YouTube shorts, and you can follow along by creating a new file from the dashboard. Click on Convert at the upper right corner and select Idea to Video. I will paste a prompt here, which is the direction I want it to follow in creating the video, then click on Submit. Basically, what it entails is the topic I want to write about, the tone and structure I want it to follow, and what I don't want it to write like the intro and outro. You can always tweak it to your preference, but this is what has worked best for me when creating short videos. So it has generated six blocks with video clips, but if you need more blocks, you can simply click on more and select auto generate next. This will write a new paragraph for us that relates to the previous points of the script. As you can see, it wrote another fact about South Carolina. But what if you want to give it some direction to follow? You can simply type a phrase like, meanwhile in Arizona and click on More to generate another block, which will be the continuation of that phrase. So you can copy it and paste it at the start of the paragraph. I also like to add an end loop to my shorts to keep the viewer retention with phrases like, Did you know these? The next thing is to change some clips, but before that I will delete the prompt from the first block since we don't need it again. And to choose a video clip, there are a number of ways you can do so. One is to click on this auto-pick button here on the block and Flicky will find a clip that matches the text for you like this. For the second block, we can click on auto-pick media at the bottom right corner of the canvas, which works similarly as the first option. And you can always click on any one of the two as many times as you like till it picks a related clip. Alternatively, if it can't find a video you want, as in this case where it is picking English football instead of American, you can click on the video thumbnail and search for what you want. You will be able to choose from millions of videos and photos, but note that your access will be limited if you are on the free plan. I'm going to choose one of these and repeat the same for the remaining blocks using one of the three options. Another cool feature on Flicky is the AI art, which is useful for creating AI photos similar to mid-journey and stable diffusion. Let's assume I can't find a media for ice cream in this block. I can simply go to the art tab and input my prompt here. Say something like, ice cream in a delivery box. You can choose a style you want here and click on the arrow icon to generate the image. This is quite close, but let us try another style like fantasy art. And this is better than the previous one, which means if you don't get what you expect, you can always change the style or tweak your prompt the same way you will do on popular tools like Mid Journey. So I will use this to replace the clip. Now the video is in a square size. To modify it, click on settings at the top. And I'll first of all change the gap between each scene to 0.1 seconds since this is a YouTube short, and change the aspect ratio to vertical 9 by 16, then click on Save. The next step is the captions, so I'll play the first scene to see how it looks. Weird and bizarre facts about America. And on the right bar, I'll place the captions to the middle, then change the font to Lick's End. I'll prefer it to show one word at a time and increase the size to large. You can also change the color to your preference, which I will prefer to be a yellow text with a black background. And if you want this settings to be the same all through, you should click on this button to do so. The next thing is to choose a voiceover by clicking on Sarah. And one of the male voices that could work best for this genre is Gavin. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. So I'll check this box to apply it to all of the blocks. Weird and bizarre facts about America. If you don't like that expression, you can simply add exclamation marks at the end of the sentence. Weird and bizarre facts about America. And that's what you should do whenever you want it to stress more on a sentence. And you can also use quotation marks like this, which will emphasize on the word in quotes. We can export it at the top and you can always close it if you have other projects to work on and you'll be notified via your email. So let's proceed to the next feature, which is the script to video. This will be useful when creating long videos, and although the first feature can create longer videos as well, I like to write my script using tools like ChatGPT for more flexibility. So I have this script I've generated from ChatGPT, and I've broken it down into fewer sentences which will make it easier on Flicky, and so I will copy it and paste it in this block. Then similar to what we did earlier, I will choose relevant clips, either by using one of the auto-pick features, or by selecting the one I like from the stock library. 
After that, I will tweak the settings and change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9, which is the standard YouTube video size. While subtitles might look cool, I don't use them in long videos, so this is the route I used to take. First, I'll go to one of the subtopics and play it to see the caption. For one, poor people don't wake up early. Here, I will place it in the middle, change the size to large, and apply this setting to all the layers. Then I'll go to the title block and add a text layer. This will be useful if you want to add a text overlay that is not in your script to the video or in order to highlight important texts. And I would like to change the font to Lixend and the text color to yellow. Next, I'll uncheck the subtitle box and apply the setting to all the layers and then go to the layers I want the subtitle to display on and recheck the box. These layers include the three subtopics and any other block that include quotes I want to highlight on the video. The moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. So here that we have a quote, I will change the display type to sequence. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. That seems better, and another feature I'll like to show you is the common scene. We've already used a similar feature when we added the topic at the title block, but whatever you add here will be present throughout the video. You can add a background audio, text overlay, watermark, or other media. Let's try the watermark and choose a logo from my library. This will be useful if you want to brand your videos and prevent people from copying your work. You can then change the position on the sidebar to any of the four corners. Next, we can choose a voiceover, and this time, let's try a female voice. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. Video is not to judge anyone's financial situation or lifestyle choices. However, it's important to acknowledge that there are certain habits and behaviors that may hinder your financial success. So let's export it and play the short video. Weird and bizarre facts about America. Ever wonder why Americans call their own sport football? It's because they only use their feet to run. In Kentucky, it's illegal to carry an ice cream cone in your back pocket. Talk about frosty fashion faux pas. Did you know we've got a town named Boring and another named Hell? Hilariously, they're a real hoot. And here's a quirky one. There's a place in Arizona where no one can hear you scream. Silence, please. Also, some Americans have a pet rock. Really, it's a thing. So who's up for a walk? Your rock is waiting. In South Carolina, horses must wear pants at all times. Imagine the size of the horse's wardrobe. Fashion doesn't horse around here. Meanwhile, in Arizona, it's illegal for donkeys to sleep in bathtubs. I guess they haven't heard of a relaxing soak after a long day, poor things. Did you know these weird and bizarre facts about America? Ever wonder why Americans call their own sport football? That end loop you saw there usually works to keep viewer retention high on YouTube short and then let's play the long video. This video is not to judge anyone's financial situation or lifestyle choices. However, it's important to acknowledge that there are certain habits and behaviors that may hinder your financial success. Whether it's due to lack of resources, knowledge, or opportunity, it's important to understand what you can control and take steps towards a better future. With that in mind, here are three things poor people do that the rich don't. Number one, poor people don't wake up early. They say that the early bird catches the worm, and this is especially true when it comes to achieving financial success. This is because when you wake up late, you're already behind on the day, you're rushing to catch up, and by the time you do, half the day is already gone. Rich people understand the importance of starting the day early. They use their mornings to work out, read, or plan their day ahead. If you waste this time on meaningless activities or sleep in, you're missing out on a valuable resource that could help you achieve your dreams. Number two, poor people watch too much TV. For many poor people, watching TV becomes more than just a form of entertainment. It's a way of life. They tend to spend hours watching reality TV, soap operas, and other meaningless programs that offer no value to their lives. Think about it. Do you really need to know who the latest celebrity is dating or what the newest drama on a reality show is? These things only serve the celebrities and the TV networks. On the other hand, rich people aim to be on TV instead of just watching it. They use their time wisely to work towards their goals, develop new skills, and create value for their lives and the world around them. Number three, poor people rely on luck. Do you know someone who constantly talks about how they're going to make it big by winning the lottery? This is what we call the lottery mentality, and it's one of the biggest things holding poor people back. Rich people, on the other hand, understand that relying on luck is a losing game. They don't wait for opportunities to fall into their lap. They actively seek them out and create them. This is what Le Brown meant when he said, shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. 
This quote perfectly captures the mindset of the rich. They aim high, take risks, and understand that even if they fall short of their goals, they'll still be in a much better position than if they hadn't tried at all. So, if you want to build wealth and achieve success, it's time to ditch the lottery mentality and start taking action. Don't wait for opportunities to come to you. Go out and create them. Talking about the income potential of this, there's actually a lot of money to be made with both niches. For the short video, there are two channels rocking it in the history niche. One is called Ancient Files, and the other one is History Bypass. And you can expect to make four to five figures per month depending on the amount of views you get. And for the long video, channels in that niche include ALOX.com and Practical Wisdom, and you can also make up to six figures annually provided that you stay consistent. Other notable features available on Flicky include voice cloning. This will be useful if you want the AI to read in your voice instead of the pre-made ones, and you can do so by following the instructions here. This will also be useful for those that want to create audiobooks and podcasts in their own voice. Interestingly, you can create podcasts and audiobooks on Flicky and have it distributed on major streaming platforms like Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. If you are working at night, you can switch to dark mode here and switch it back to light mode at any time. And if you have a blog post you want to convert to video, you can do that here, and paste the URL in this box which you can ask Flicky to summarize or import everything in the blog post. You can also turn your presentation to a video here and convert your tweets into video under it as well. There is also a new update where you can change the layout of the editor and move each section to left, right, or center, which would be useful for those creating videos in languages such as Arabic and Hebrew. There are more features you can use on Flicky, which I may not discuss in this video, so I will drop this resource page in the description below as well if you want to take a look at them. For the pricing, you can get started for free as I said at the beginning of this video. And no, this is not a free trial for a time, but a completely free plan that you can use every single month. However, it has a monthly limit of 5 minutes of audio and video content, and the videos you export on it will have a small watermark at the corner. To remove the watermark, you need to upgrade to the standard plan, which will give you access to a wide library of premium media and AI art for generating AI photos. This will also increase the time allocated to 180 minutes, and it goes for $21 only when billed annually. The basic plan is priced at $6, but you can't create videos on it as it's made for those that want to create voiceovers only. That, however, does not include voice cloning as you need to be on the premium plan to access that feature as well as other high-end features like API access, ultra-realistic voices, and much more. I will leave this pricing page in the description below as well for you to compare them and see which one will be useful for your needs. There's also an FAQ section which will answer most of the questions you may have, but if you have more questions, you can drop them in the comment section below, and let's chat. To see how you can create viral videos fast, click on this video, and if you learn one or two things from this one, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Scholar, and thank you for watching.